Hello everyone, uh, I'm back again and this time we are going to be uh, installing the WSM tools on our Redmi 1S. So uh, basically why WSM tools? So if any of you have wondered how to get the uh, exposed modules to work on this device, then that's the reason we will be needing the WSM tools because if we use the exposed installer to get that on our device, then you will experience that it goes into a boot loop or it just doesn't work. So the, the WSM tools provides a workaround for that and uh, for getting the WSM tools basically we will be doing a quick google search for WSM tools Redmi 1S. Now here you will uh, see the link uh, to the MIUI forums. Now here many things that have been given that how it works and everything. But basically what we are supposed to do is here we have the link towards the Burgers Pro WSM project and from there if we translate the page, translate the page and everything uh, we will be getting the WSM tools EPK basically and once we download that Okay, so it's downloading. Uh, once we've downloaded the APK, we are supposed to install it. And when we install it, we get this WSM tools logo here, or uh, icon here. And uh, if we go inside here for the first time, you will be getting a uh, framework related uh, installation uh, you will be getting this uh, UI basically uh, which shows uh, which app process and exposed bridge.jar versions are supplied and which are the installed ones so if you don't have any then it will show you zero of uh, zero and zero for both the values and uh, your installation mode can be where can be uh, determined and once we click on install it will show you this and once you click on ok it will uh, install the exposed modules or uh, exposed framework for your device then we are supposed to reboot our device and once we reboot uh, we will be getting the values that have been bundled with this one of the ones that we've uh, installed over here now the latest version has 50 and 51 that is app process has 50 uh, version 50 and exposed bridge.jar has 51 so we will be uh, doing that and we will be getting that and once we do that uh, if we go if we switch the tab from modules to online the modules tab will be empty uh, for the first time once we go there uh, we have the repository option where first of all the WSM tools is checked and we have uh, various tools that are available in the WSM repository uh, but if we change the repository to exposed instead of WSM uh, we will be getting uh, <laughs> mm, yeah so once the list updates we will be getting all the modules that are available under the exposed repository and we will be able to install all of them on our device and hopefully they work now the ones that I have tried are boot manager, gravity box, MI tools, MI tools is from WSM repository, uh, reflection and xblast tools. So almost all of these work and uh, I will be showing you quick uh, go through of all this. Uh, MI tools is basically designed for the uh, MI UI uh, operating system so that uh, it works perfectly and uh, it's from WSM tools. Uh, repository and uh, we have reflection which is uh, which helps us to get the uh, get the uh, handle the call logs better that is we can uh, remove call uh, call logs from specific numbers or we can uh, we can change the visibility of the logs and everything boot manager is used for uh, basically stopping the apps from booting uh, from starting at the boot and uh, there are many uh, apps which hog up memory from the beginning only uh, which don't need to start so we can block that from there uh, gravity box is basically for changing various uh, system related stuff and uh, one more thing uh, one very important thing that we will be doing with it later is getting this uh, navigation bar down here 
so we will be doing at that in the next video uh, then we have installed uh, then uh, we have that much installed and uh, it works perfectly uh, we even have the xblast tools over here uh, xblast tools is another uh, handy tool for changing various things uh, like gradients and build dot prop tweaks or maybe uh, changing your carrier labels and editing the status bar so that kind of stuff we can do using xblast tools uh, but there it's a trial and error kind of thing uh, sometimes it might work sometimes it might not so but the best module uh, that i found is mi tools Gra and gravity box because these two work flawlessly uh, another application which requires root permission in accordance in accordance to our last video uh, is pimp my rom uh, pimp my rom again uh, is a very uh, useful tool it's available from the play store itself uh, and it uh, gives us various ways to uh, interact with our uh, our rom uh, that is miui and uh, tweak a few things then there is this no frills cpu control application again available from the play store uh, now we will be using this for changing our CPU frequencies because uh, many people have said that the CPU of the, our device basically is overclocked it uh, works on a higher frequency than it should and that's the reason why it overheats so if you are on a lower uh, firmware version that is not on the 45.0 then you might find this very handy because uh, the phone overheats due to this but uh, on and on the 45.0 version also you can use this but there is not much need for that uh, you can set up the maximum clock frequencies minimum clock frequencies uh, the governor uh, governors and the io scheduler uh, you are supposed to uh, take apply on boot so that uh, you don't have to apply it manually although you can do that also you can every you can apply it every time you want only and not all the times uh, click on apply and it will uh, show you that it has been uh, uh, super user has been granted and there is success in setting the values so uh, that was one more app which was uh, very useful for keeping our uh, device uh, on low heat and keeping uh, it working like the way we wanted then there are zram settings available uh, from uh, various uh, developers this thing is available uh, so basically the ZRAM compression ratios and everything I mean you can get what is ZRAM from the uh, Wikipedia or from the this application itself and you can select the values at which the ZRAM purging should be uh, there the percentage of memory that should purge so that's a very technical thing uh, but basically what it does in a nutshell is it helps you speed up your device uh, a little bit and that's about it uh, for this video uh, we will be uh, exploring uh, how we can get this uh, navigation bar through gravity box and how we can tweak a few tweak a few things from mi tools in the next video uh, stay tuned for this see you later